Let's talk about Josh Colmenter, who gets the opening day start on the mound for the Diamondbacks. And no doubt, Colmenter is the most unlikely day one starter you'll find in the majors, but he's probably the most likable guy on the Diamondbacks team. No doubt about that, Coop. He deserves this. Colmenter was lights out all spring long, and as our own Cameron Cox shows us, he's got the right stuff and an even better attitude. <laughs> How many pitches do you have? <laughs> I just throw three, but I've I nicknamed them I nicknamed them all at one point. The stalking cheetah, mesmerizing mongoose, I have the combustive crab, there's the floating phoenix. I don't know if you've heard of that one. Well, he's been effective all night long. What's your favorite nickname? You got a bunch of them. I like the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel was very creative. I'd never heard that before. Tomahawk's pretty cool, just the alliteration there. Yeah, I've noticed that Joshua's even uh, kind of long forgotten. I think my mom might be the only one who still uses the, the full version of that. Is this a Hall of Fame pose? I don't know if you, I... You look like very a Hall of Fame. Okay, yes, all right, good. I was just trying to go with the look. You weren't on the starting rotation last year. You are now. Has that hit you yet? Yeah, it has. It's been a revolving door between the bullpen and then the rotation, and so hopefully now at least it'll be a one-way street on this side for a little while. Is there any pressure when you're handed the ball on day one? I don't feel any added pressure. The only thing that's nice is I know exactly when I'm going to pitch. There should be no excuses because I've known for, uh, you know, a month out that I'll be pitching that day. And so I just want to make sure that I'm 100% ready to go. You know, we'll have the, the cool opening day paint on the field. You can't overlook that. Tell me about Josh Coleman to the person. <laughs> uh, well, I tried, I tried not to, to be too different uh, on the field or off the field. If there was like a level below novice for dancing, I would be somewhere in that realm. All right. But I try not to be the guy that's tunnel vision that won't talk to guys. I like to talk to the hitters and interact. I'm getting times, yeah. Helixson was an 11-5-1 home to second. So if you guys want to use that, <laughs> could be useful. When did you learn not to take yourself so seriously? And did that help your baseball career? I think so. I was a little more shy and reserved when I was younger, probably until Maybe my sophomore year of high school, I think I really broke out of the shell, so to speak. I knew that, for one, you had to work hard, but then you could also have fun. And so I've always tried to balance that. And, I mean, I've had strength coaches told me one time, he's like, sometimes it was annoying, but I couldn't really say anything because you always did what you were supposed to. You always worked hard. You didn't take any days off. And so it's kind of been that relationship where I know exactly what I have to do, but I know that there's a fine line of when to be serious and when not. And I tried not to cross it too many times. And Josh Colmenter has shut out Cincinnati.